So I asked Guido Cianciulli, the managing director of ACA Software, to come on stage. Thank you, Michele. So, allow me to comment on a video to give you a snapshot, an idea of our technology. It's called As Being GeoTwin. Allowing us to integrate GIS, what you seen just recently, with BIM, especially with Open BIM, because we are talking about open formats. So, formats that can be created by all the design software, but it's an open format that can be used freely. So, we will specifically talk about Open BIM and a mention of artificial intelligence as well. All of this put together allow us to create essentially geographical works, digital twin and geospatial and smart cities. Let's look at Milan Scene. You saw it uh, shortly before. This is the 3D model made with the technology you saw earlier. Just now we were in a GIS scene, and at this point we insert not as makeup, but actually beam models, in fact, open beam. This model interacts perfectly with the GIS environment and they are full of details. We can go inside to select any object or point clouds. Many services are done with point clouds, many details, and here we go down to the smallest detail and manage them directly on GIS platform. To these new items we add to the scene interact with everything else, you see, we can, for instance, do the measurement from an object to the right part. Now let's see how we can cut these models to go inside and analyze every tiny detail. Now let's see how we can use a bit in everyday life, let's say a tool like this, just a few. Here we have four users around the world watching this scene at the same time. If we need to collaborate on a scene, on a project, in a planning, one of the users can take control and synchronize everyone's views to have a discussion, to delve into something. Another possibility is to appear on the scene with one's own avatar. So let's populate this scene with all actors who are witnessing the scene at the same time. And that's all, directly on the web. Another very important thing is crucial to keep these models updated with our integrated platform. You can directly modify the model without accessing other more complex tools. All change made to a model. So, for instance, in case of maintenance, we need to replace an object or add a new object. They are seen in real time by all those who are watching. The scene not, so there are no latest times, it's all always perfectly updated. And this is very important to have an always update digital twin. And these are all the open beam models. Now, let's see, like not just the geographic part, but also the data aspect integrates with GIS. What you see below is a classic GIS data table, but when we interact with the table, it lights up, and you can select the objects directly of the model. Again, we can make special classic queries, that is, to go and nest in this area. Which are the windows and which are the boilers? Objects are selected immediately. Windows or balconies and the boilers inside the buildings, and each of these has its own data that can be displayed. Yet another example. A special selection where we go to find out which are the apartments, the energy performance. Immediately, the various apartments are selected with their colors, statics are made, and if we are interested, let's go back to BIM, and we can investigate and even see the energy certificate of each apartment. Ok, but let's say, I know nothing about these models, I have never seen them, who can help me? Artificial intelligence can help me. 
So, at this point, I'm going to ask what are the properties of this model. The GPT answers me back, analyzing the model and telling me what the properties are available. Then I ask, but tell me the use of the rooms, and he lists them, all the possible uses it found in this model. Make me a chart, make me a chart of the areas by their intended use. Immediately, I have a chart and there is a description of what I saw. But still, I asked to select all the bathrooms that are in that building. He selected them for me and described them with characteristics. I'm not happy with that, so I ask it, where is the biggest? It then selects the biggest one for me, tells me which floor is positioned and how big it is too. So we've made BIM, or rather, open BIM, accessible to everyone. I'll stop here and conclude with this beautiful sunset over the city of Milan. And if you want to try out Asbin GeoTwin, simply go to geotwin.asbin.com. Thanks everyone for your attention.